these guys, these are your two rack toms right here, and you have your floor tom over there on the floor. Today, right now on the drum kit, I have got a set of the Sennheiser E604s right there. And they're just clipped onto our drums. Uh, they're great low profile drums. They sound great in a live situation. Um, and then Sennheiser also makes something called the E904, which uh, you mentioned the SM57 and the SM57 Beta. This is basically the beta version of the 604. So a little bit of an upgraded uh, uh, frequency response on that side, that kind of thing, sorry. And right here, uh, this is what I was just uh, mentioning earlier, the Audix Micro D uh, is the same style mic as one of these. It's a clip-on condenser mic with a gooseneck. Now why these work so great for drums is if it's too close and you're getting too loud of a signal, it's very easy for the performer to just back it off a little bit like that, and you're not going to get too loud of a harsh sound. Uh, so some people like to use those on their toms. Uh, I generally like dynamic mics on my toms, but again, subjective. Some people like uh, condensers. Um, you can also use them on snares. People use them on snares as well. So uh, those are a good option. So for tom mics, uh, the thing with tom mics is you want to get them nice and close to the tom so that you get a nice solid sound without too much bleed from everything else. Now the key for miking any drums, guys, is you want to just mic that one drum that it's on. So I want my kick drum mic to only pick up the kick drum. I don't want it to pick up the cymbals. I don't want it to pick up the snare because those things all have their own microphone on them. So if every microphone can just pick up its own thing, your end product is going to be much better because you'll have control over every individual piece of the drum kit, which might sound complicated, but in the end that's really what you want. You, you want individual control over everything. Uh, okay, any questions?